Where's the screen? Wow, that puts me right there. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most vicious show on the internet. My name is Riley Zoltz, my nutritious co-host, Dignan. And today we're guessing the song from the old part of it. This is Guess, Guess the, the popular, popular Rap Song from the Sample. You guys have seen it. DJ Grant's gonna play us a song or sound that has been sampled in a popular rap song. We're gonna guess what popular rap song that is. One point for each one we get right. Me versus Dignan versus you. Carol from Knoxville, Tennessee. Mama said Knoxville, you out. All right, before we do today, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. We also have a brand new merch drop over on Cope's website, Restock coming soon. Linked in description, check that out. Also linked in description is our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us, or click the Join button here on YouTube and become a member. I like the members. We also have short form content over on TikTok and Instagram Reels, as well as our brand new channel, HiveMind Limited. Subscribe to that. And last thing before we get into the video, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird. We'll tell you more about Scentbird later in the video. Thank you. Scent bird. Oh, my belly hurt. What? what? Your belly hurt? I didn't say that. What? <laughs> All right. I'm going to gaslight you a lot today, so get ready. Okay. It's going to be the theme of today's video. Let's get a gaslight counter up here. How many times I can do it in the video? The record's 18. <laughs> How do you know that? Because I, I said it. You remember. You made it. You made the counter before and it got to 18. I've never, I'm, <laughs> I literally just thought in my head, now I got to make a gaslight counter. <laughs> yeah. Now he doesn't remember. Okay, buddy. <laughs> that's one. Ah, yeah, that, that's, shoot. <laughs> Walked right into it. Now. <laughs> Technically, that's two because you said the belly thing. I said what? <laughs> <laughs> First sample, please, DJ Grant. No, I don't like no whips and chains, and you can't tie me down. I'm a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> You might as well have said that. I know, right? <laughs> I'm a white guy. I don't like dominating. I'm, I'm a, a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's it called, though? We both know it. What's the song called? Uh, I believe it's called Poppin'. Put that poppin' on me, baby. <laughs> it's called First Class. Okay, that's what I'll write. It's called First Class by Jack Harlow. <laughs> gonna write that one down. First like... Class by Jack the Smack Harlow. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down in just a second. Okay. <laughs> Seems like you're looking somewhere, you're looking right at here. Yep, I'm gonna write down first class in just a second. <laughs> oh, that's, you think that's gonna stop me from seeing it? Put that loving on me, baby. I'm gonna write, I'm vanilla, baby. This is what I wrote. Ugh, who the fuck is that? What? It's a disgusting looking beast. Grant, Wait. what do you think of this? Who is that? Oh, oh yeah, that looks just like him, yeah, yeah, yeah. The nose is... <laughs> It's a little too small. Yeah, I yeah. Think you should increase the size of that. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah. Are we playing the game? Oh, I definitely got the proportions wrong on that. One yeah. second. That's better. Yeah, I think that's better, Grant. Still too small. You think so? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, this looks a little bit like Jason Siegel. <laughs> Can we just guess, man? Well, sorry. You got your guess down. Yep. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what? Three, two, one. Love it on me, Jack Harlow. I'm Vanilla Baby. Whips and chains, loving on me, Jack Harlow. This is Loving On Me by Jack Harlow. The song is number one in the country. Of course I know the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> it is number one in the country, I think. I think it still is number one. No, I thought Ben Shapiro was now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Benny S topped the charts. <laughs> but, but Benny S. <laughs> People like Benny X, I'm more into Benny S. He's a clever little conservative Jew. Yeet and Benny S. <laughs> That's the thing about the boy. The thing about your boy is I can spell. And he doesn't like whips or chains, but she can tie him down. I think he, she cannot tie him down. But you can tie me down. I think it is. Yes, you can't tie me down. Uh, I think he says, I don't like no whips and chains, but I'll commit to you. <laughs> no. Nope. All the girls in the back. <laughs> My name's Jack. <laughs> I think that that song is good and catchy, and it, it's what a Jack Harlow hit's supposed to be. You don't have to take it too seriously, yeah, blah, I blah, don't. blah, I like when it's on. I was in the music video, and they cut my part out. Not, there's just no way. Yeah. Mm -mm. I was doing a paint and spin. Now explain that. What's a paint and spin? You remember those made for TV things? It would spin, you drop paint on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was doing one of those in the video, but with piss, and they cut it. Makes but, sense. Yeah. Makes sense that they would cut that. It's messed up. You want to know how I got my pee red? Kidney failure? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Grant, can we hear the next one, please? Where's the screen? <laughs> wow. 
wow, that puts me right there. I think I'm about to watch Wizard of Oz. That's <laughs> what I think of every time. It's well, like that's Wizard. MGM. Because <sighs> you have to start. <laughs> You have to start Dark Side of the Moon at the third roar of the lion to get it synced up perfectly. Little kids out there don't know about that. All right, then I'll cut that and say I'm about to watch something else. Sure. It's like I'm about to watch Talladega Nights. Perfect. <laughs> Love that film. <laughs> mm -hmm. Adam McKay. More like Adam McGay. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> when is McDonald's going to do the McGay for uh, the LGBTQ <laughs> plus community month? <laughs> they have a gay awareness month, right? Pride month. It's Pride June. month. Yes, yeah, June. June. Yeah. For Pride Month, McDonald's should do a Mick Gay. I don't think that's <laughs> and it's like a cunty little McChicken. Or no, something. don't say it. don't say stuff like a that. A Mick Gay, that'd be awesome. A Mick Gay is fine. It's the other. Think part. of how many people would order that. I mean, of course. <laughs> you guys want to get some Mick Gays for lunch? <laughs> we would. Me and the boys are going down to get Mick Gays for Pride think, Month because we are allies. I think it'd be good for allies. Yeah. Homosexual people, people of the LGBTQIA yeah. plus community. Thank you. Yeah. And homophobes, I think, would go get the McGay. Yeah, and they'd like give it to their friends like at a smooth off ice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, bro, I got you a snack. And oh, he McGayed me. I got to eat it now. <laughs> oh, I got to eat it off my friend's ass. Oh, oh, I got to divorce my wife. <laughs> I've been living a lie. <laughs> it's got to be a rainbow bun, right? Something, yeah. I was rainbow to fries, think. maybe? Yeah, or like, I don't know. Because gay people don't really have a cuisine of their own. Maybe it's like, oh, Lady Gaga Oreo McFlurry. Sure. That's definitely good for the McGay month. Yeah, that's all right with me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> with you? <laughs> Approved. What is that? The, what the hell? I approve it. Okay. <laughs> Any other ideas? Declined. <laughs> Don't like that one. <laughs> I didn't say one. Yeah, so. you did. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Three, two, one. Dumbest Girl Alive, 100 Gex. Hot in here. This no. is Dumbest Girl Alive by 100 Gex. <laughs> I love the Gex, man. They should do a McGeck. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's also boycott McDonald's, by the way. Until Pride Month. Until Pride Month. <laughs> and they buy our Mick Gay idea. <laughs> and then we get rich and we're big time allies. Which is best of both worlds. <laughs> and we donate the money. Some of it. <laughs> to Palestinian relief. Perfect. Okay. Some of it. Uh, yeah. Fine. We're going to keep a fortune. <laughs> A king's ransom, if you will. <laughs> but we'll donate a hefty amount. That's the thing. When you make a fortune, yeah, hundred thousand dollars is like a wooden nickel. <laughs> and IP is important. I think that people with good ideas should be rich for them. Exactly. And they should sell those ideas to giant corporations <laughs> instead of doing anything with them themselves. Yeah, predatory corporations. Pawn them off. Yeah. Instead of executing that, <laughs> execute yourself, pal. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you like that song, but you seem to like snarl at it. Yeah. You smirked at it. Yeah. Grant, let's get to the next one. Is that J-Lo? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Old. <laughs> yeah, it's an old one. Oh, yeah. a lot of spit. Mm -hmm. That was not spit. What was that? That was blood. It was like clear slash white. I got the clear blood update. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> How did you do the blood piss circle in the Jack Harlow music video? That was then? months ago. Uh, okay. Clear blood update? Yep. Are they doing updates on blood At the and Apple organs store, yeah. No, they're yeah. not. If you plug all the charges in to yourself, <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can get whatever you want, really. A jail broke my body, and now I can get whatever I want. Is this like a CRISPR thing, or is it just... Kind of, sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, why not? I know what this is from, kind of. Yeah, I know it. It's like pitched down. Yep. Do you want my love? I feel would like you, it's a Drake song. Would you come at me? Stop looking at my Literally door. not. You were. <laughs> Ding. Literally not. I would never cheat on this show you that cheat. I have the utmost respect for the games we play. If <laughs> you cheat in every episode. Jennifer Lopez, the one with Ben Affleck? Yeah. Oh, terrible taste in men. Yeah, I guess he's, I don't know. He's a disgusting guy from Boston. He's like kind of handsome in a strange way, though. He used to be. Now he's washed. No, I think now <laughs> there's something handsome about him. Something handsome about a broken man. The only thing I don't like about him as of recent is 
is he genuinely dropped coffee the one time and it was a funny picture and then he recreated it for corporate ass Dunkin Donuts and he's carrying like a bunch of them and drops them for a commercial I was like come on yeah that's all right though that's a guy who sold an idea to a corporation and that's we like that. But that's like if you fell off a bike and tumbled like half a mile, mm -hmm. you're completely broken. And it went so viral that you were asked to recreate it for an Amazon commercial. Yeah, I would. You would? Yeah, heartbeat. Amazon's got so much money. Think of all that money. <laughs> Should give me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I just think that'd be lame though. Me having a ton of money? No, you recreating a stunt that was genuine. You love stunts. Yeah, whatever. You used to hold the stunt sacred. You said, we never fake a stunt. You <laughs> said, we never fake a stunt. I'm getting old, man, and I'm starting to think about my fortune and legacy. Really? Fortune, I'm thinking about. Yeah, legacy, I Don't feel like, care. yeah, I was going to say, you've already kind of ruined that. Squandered. Yeah. Three, two, one. Teenage Fever by Drake. Middle of the ocean. This is Teenage Fever by Drake. Boom. I got the chicken pox late. That was a teenage fever. I got a scar from it too. See that? That looks like a bruise. Well, that's a bruise. That's a freckle. Yeah. Those are veins. There's a scar somewhere. Over oh, there. yeah. It? Yeah, you got, it looks like almost like a, like a snake bite if the snake was huge. Yes, chicken pox scar. Wow. Kids don't get chicken pox anymore. I haven't even heard about them in like years. They eradicated them. That's kind of awesome. I hope they get rid of other stuff, like <laughs> soy lattes. I think that's all right. <laughs> I don't know. If I run a perfect game, what happens? I don't know. You can like parade around with your pride and see who else is down with it. I'm not. <laughs> I'll probably go home. If you run a perfect game, I'll probably go home at some point today. Shouldn't you go home at some point today anyway? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I probably will. Okay, so it's kind of inconsequential. I might hang out with my cousin later. Oh, Drave? Yeah, rock climbs. The rock climbing <laughs> yeah. guy, yeah, Drave. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. He rock climbs and I glock climb. Fa, 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 fa. Fucking haters. <laughs> Miranda Lambert. <laughs> Fill her with halls. What did she ever do to you? Sasha Barracon. <laughs> Hole. <laughs> Mike Ditka, raise him from the dead. Blast him. <laughs> He's alive. Mike Ditka died, dude. <laughs> Did he really? I think so. <laughs> Ditka dies at 88. <laughs> does he? Did he die? I thought he passed this year. No, he's he's alive. Ah, uh, maybe. Hold on. I thought he was dead. Yeah, it just says born in 1939. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. I must have had Ditka die in a dream. Yeah, maybe. I think they're working on kicking and screaming too. Coach Ditka can't die until kicking and screaming two comes out. Yeah. If he dies by Wednesday, when this video comes out, I want you guys to know that we filmed it five days ago. Or four days, whatever it is, four days ago. Don't beat yourself up over counting. Oh, can you? No. Love that song. Me too, man. Your eyes are closed. Nope, they're open. Bing. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> What's the next one, Grant? Oh yeah, MJ. He was an instrument. That's just some. That's what just what people <laughs> say. It's like some shit people say. What? That's like when people say New York was a character in the movie. <sighs> I'm doing that four times a day now. Choking yourself? Yep. Okay. I've been getting too much air recently. Too much air? Yeah, I'm trying to constrict the amount of air I bring in. Can I ask you a question? Sure, man. Graydon told me that you got canceled for something that you said, and I forgot to address it in the last video, because in all truth, I am a little scared of what I'm going to find. But, but can I, can you in, inform me about... Can't say it. I'll tell you that. I learned that. <laughs> yeah, but like, just what, what was the nature of this? It was something you are not allowed to say online, and I was on a liberal podcast, <laughs> and I said it. And I learned that day that me personally can't say it. Some people can say it. That worries me. Oh, yeah, dude. I didn't know either. What liberal... You went on a podcast solo without me? Yeah, it was on NPR. NPR. <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to say it, but because obviously they pulled it, but yeah, I was on NPR. When? What? What? They asked you to come on solo? Yeah, it was about eight weeks ago or something. And right. let's just say, I'll say this from my time at NPR, aside from what I said that apparently you can't say. Actually, no, I know you can't say it because they pulled the interview. Yeah. There's a reason they call her Terry Gross. <laughs> <laughs> she is disgusting. <laughs> She's gross. She eats with her hands. She's like sniveling and farting and stuff. <laughs> and her stomach growls. There's a reason they call her Terry Gross. That's all I'll have to say about my time at NPR. Aside from what I said that you cannot say on national public radio. It is a blessing that we don't have to deal with the FCC. Yeah? I would fuck them up. 
<laughs> I would fuck them up if we were on television. I'd be a fucking tangle in all their wires. I'd fuck up. I'd fuck their whole shit up over there. Okay. They wouldn't want to fucking deal with me. I'll tell you that much. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The FCC couldn't handle fucking with me. Be the last fucker they fucked with. I'm like Daniel Tosh on steroids. They thought he was tough. Tough fucker. <laughs> but me, I'm a different beast. I'm like Daniel Tosh meets Joe Rogan meets Liza Minnelli. <laughs> <sighs> You know what I think the FCC should stand for? Fuck cancel culture. Let me say what I want on NPR. I do love that it's called cancel culture. (laughs) Culture. (laughs) Culture culture of canceling. Culture is something that has developed over history, over time. That's just too broad of a word for what's happening. Cancel epoch. Cancel Tupac. That's what Gen Z's trying to do. Yeah, it's (laughs) fucked up. Three, two, one. I put selfish by Justin Timberlake. I put FTC or whatever, FTP by Nikki. This is Don't Stop the Music by Rihanna. Please don't stop the music, music, music. I've never even heard it. That's not fair to put in the game. (laughs) Yes, you have heard that. I've never heard that song. It's not even fair to put in the game. You've never heard Don't Stop the Music by Rihanna. I've never heard a Rihanna song. You're trying to tell me you've never heard Ponde Replay. Never heard a Rihanna song. Any Rihanna song. Ding. (laughs) <laughs> of course I've heard it I love her <laughs> I love her to death <laughs> song makes me lose my mind <laughs> <laughs> like in a good way or yeah, yeah okay yeah, makes me want to get going you know what I miss Occupy Wall Street Oh, yeah, that was like a music festival. It was in awesome, right? That's what I'm saying. Jackson Brown on the street playing with Dawes. Is that a wig? Jackson Brown's yeah. hair? No, he's just beautiful, luscious hair. He's had hair. beautiful hair his whole life. I know. He should be the hair for some hair brand. He should be the hair for some hair brand? Yeah, I don't know. Dove. Or something. Head and shoulders. I'm more interested in his hair, but yeah. I remember two different girlfriends' dads saying that I looked like Jackson Brown. Yeah, your new dumb boyfriend looks like Jackson Brown. <laughs> Can't it, play the guitar half as good, but they didn't. <laughs> they weren't like sure. He's got a huge hog, darling. They wouldn't. They wouldn't talk about that. Either. Darling, I'm sure his hog is adequate. It's all right. He don't play guitar. And he's dumb. They he looks like I Jackson Brown dumb. with a mustache. They didn't say that was dumb. Back to my eyes and see the tears. You know his song, "My Redneck Friend." Let me introduce you to my redneck friend. I don't think so. Kind of a deeper cut from one of his albums. It's about his penis. His redneck friend. Ew. Yeah, it's really <laughs> gross. When I learned that, I said, oh, Jack. Yeah, Jackson, chill out. Chill out. Jackson Harlow. <laughs> Let's keep this going, bro. You are stalling a lot today. What is the next sample, Grant? <laughs> Those innocent eyes. It had to be fucking Miguel, right? That fucker can sing. Yeah, he's a great singer. Angelic. That's how I'd put it. It's light skin too. It's a light skin singer. <laughs> <laughs> Thin mustache. He's a thin mustached light skin singer named Miguel. It's awesome. <laughs> I mean, like on paper, that's awesome. But then even in reality, it's awesome. <laughs> it's like a foul mouthed parrot at a kitschy beach restaurant. Oh, kind of like a check out those cans. Yeah. Like stuff that like sort that. Of that. Yeah. It's like good on paper and it's good in reality. Totally. It's just those two things are just the same. Ugly date. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You don't need dessert. You can't pay for it. Guard declined. Need a few more shots to make her pretty. (laughs) (laughs) His car's a rental. Sit the fuck down. You were never there for your kids. She never loved you anyway, you stupid bitch. (laughs) You know, simple stuff that a parrot could say. That's not, a parrot wouldn't, that's too long of a sentence for a parrot, I think. Alakazam, here I go, right up your ass. Give me a cheeseburger, bitch. (laughs) Stuff like that. (laughs) No, (laughs) yeah, see, we were on the same. The chef won't serve people like you. Okay. You know, stuff like that. (laughs) Jesus. Simple stuff that a parrot would say. Is this like a Jim Crow era (laughs) parrot? (laughs) No, it's a parrot. (laughs) Jim parrot. Crows can talk, though. But you wouldn't want a crow in a restaurant. It's an <laughs> omen of death. And it would be a bad thing. Yeah, a crow in a restaurant would be like, you're going to die in six days. And I'd be like, fuck, did you hear what that crow just said to me? <laughs> and they'd be like, what crow? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Only I can see the crow of my own death. You have undiagnosed heart disease. <laughs> Fuck, man, the crow doctor. <laughs> the plague doctor. Yeah. The plague doctor's a crow. Old crow medicine show. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff we can do with yeah, that. There's a lot can, of, there's a cool. I like the, yeah. the beachside rude parrot. I like where that took us. Yeah, <laughs> me too. It yeah, uh-huh. was good. I can picture the restaurant too. There's dollar bills on the wall. The child version of you wouldn't recognize you if he met you today. I'm like, shut up, crow. I don't speak English. No, <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. 
Worth It by YK Osiris. But losing my religion. This is Break from Toronto by Party Next Door. Oh. Damn it. Why are you so upset? Gosh. You thought it was Losing My Religion by R.E.M.? <laughs> that song came out way before Miguel was even born. Fuck. <laughs> God dang it. You can cut those in wherever you want. <laughs> Why would I cut them in somewhere oh. else? This doesn't make I any... don't know. After all my bad guesses or something. Did you get it right? No. Oh. It was Break from Toronto by Party Next Door. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Rats! <laughs> my niggas bigger than the bounce. Roll up in the bitch still smell like a house. Right? Oh, that song is so good. <sighs> Sorry, I was getting a little slutty. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, before the next one, how about we tell them about our sponsor, Scentbird? Please. That's right, today's video is brought to you by our sponsor, Scentbird. This is the year, man. For what exactly? For me to finally discover that signature scent and for you to get a new one. <laughs> Why do I need a new one? I mean, we both can agree that no one's gonna take you serious unless you're wearing a nice cologne or perfume. Whatever, can I break down a few of my favorite scents that I've gotten from Scentbird? <laughs> I love when you do this. <laughs> First, we've got French Defense from Mind Games. <laughs> It leads with a mouth-watering boldness of dark liquor and saturated cherries. Yes. <laughs> it's a hypnotic, red, fruity note that hooks the senses from the start. Ah, uh, hypnotize me. Here, take a whiff. Oh, I'm getting threads of soft mimosa and geranium Madagascar that really transition the fragrance into a skin-warming caress of golden amber and woods. Exactly. And what's this one? Lastly, we got Vanilla Nomad by Santa Jardin Paris. This fragrance coaxes out the seductive side of vanilla, with sensual notes of Moroccan jasmine absolute and sandalwood, and it's grounded by an earthly base of vetiver and patchouli. You know what I love about Scentbird? What? You don't have to pick a scent off the bat. Absolutely not, it's a subscription service. You get many scents, True. you get to try them out, and you yeah. find the one that fits you. Cause I hate committing to something expensive and I wind up hating it. Scentbird really does make it easy to smell good. And for only $17, you get the whole subscription service. You can try all sorts of colognes and perfumes in these little bottles. And then if you like it so much, you can buy a big bottle right through them. When you click the link below and visit Scentbird, Bird's website or use the QR code and use code HiveMindTV, you can save 55% off your first month of Scentbird. I don't know what a QR code is, but I know 55% is more than half. The QR code is on the screen. They can see it, they can scan it, and go straight to Scentbird's website, use code HiveMindTV, and they will save more than half off their first month. Which means you get a month of Scentbird's amazing selection of colognes and perfumes for just about eight bucks. Eight dollars. That's like nothing, basically. That is like nothing. So go use our code HiveMind TV over at the QR code or on the website. <laughs> Thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. I smell good now, and so can you. I smell savings. <laughs> and we're back. Thanks, Scentbird. Now, for these next two, we've selected samples for each other to guess from. Right. So for this one, DJ Grant's gonna play a sample that I selected, and Dignan's gonna guess, and then vice versa. Let's do it. And mine is actually an interpolation. Great. So you know that song? I love that song. If someone has a hangover and you do that song in an interpretive dance, it'll cure their hangover. I don't. If you had a hangover, play along. Oh, and I, I walked shouldn't up have to drank you. all those beers last night. And I said, sweet dreams are made of these. <laughs> Everybody's looking for someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it all out, buddy. Some of them want to use you. Dude, Some of them want poisoning. to be <laughs> abused. <laughs> Travel the world and the seven seas. Can we turn the lights Every off in here? Oh, who interpolates this? Dude, I don't even, I'm not even thinking music right now. My mind is in another place. <laughs> I am. That's your fault. That's I not. am in the lumber section at Lowe's, pissing off the workers there. <laughs> <laughs> Test out which wood's the strongest. I know which wood's the strongest, obviously, but I'm testing it out. Which wood's the strongest? I forget right now. I think it's oak. <laughs> Chestnut, maybe? Something okay. like that. It's hard. It'll all dull right. your blades if yeah. you work with it too much. Pine, though. Cut right through that shit. Yep. Soft that's Soft wood. Yeah, I know. All of this is great, but... Yeah. You, that's just where my mind's at. I know. You gotta guess something, though, <sighs> and it's a music game today. Sweet dreams. Uh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Three, two, one. Bombs over Baghdad. 
This is Street Dreams by Nas. Street Dreams are me. That's cool. Remember that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did. I was just listening back to this album and was like, oh, that's funny that he did that. Yeah. And I liked the song. I thought it was kind of charming. Uh-huh. And then I just was like reading about it on the internet and people were like, fuck that song. Nas is only a three letter name. Yeah. Some say it has four. They don't. Some people say that. Yeah. Bing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's hear the song. I don't get paid enough to be on this show. <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> I do not get paid enough <laughs> to go through what I go through. Wait. Yeah, okay. It's cool. If that song was a food, it'd probably be a crab. (laughs) It's my opinion, bro. (laughs) Don't shake your head at it. It's just what I think. Up next is the sample that I've chosen for Riley. All right, let's hear it. Oh, I know this. What is this? That's a song, and it's sampled. In another song. Okay. That's Slow Jams by uh, Midnight Star. Midnight Star, creators of Wet My Whistle. Correct. Which OG Hive Mind fans remember sending to their parents. Yeah, that song's awesome. Wish my whistle was wet right now. Bone dry down there. <laughs> Uh-oh. What are you doing, cheating? Just checking out the perimeter, the area, <laughs> making sure we're safe. Yeah, got to check your surroundings. There was a snapping turtle in here yesterday when I showed up. Who do you think brought it in here? You brought a snapping turtle in Tony. here? Tony. Tony brought a snapping yeah. turtle in here? He's breeding them. Why would he do it at the office? Can't do it at your house. It's dangerous. We're here every day. So? Except for Sundays. Yeah. Football. <laughs> but still, <laughs> seriously, I don't think a snapping turtle should be... I have my dog here a lot. Fuck your dog, man. Okay. If he's not quicker than the snapping turtle, he deserves to die. That's just not true. Turtles... It's evolution. That's how it works, dude. <laughs> no. If you're not fat Faster than a snapping turtle, you die. Those fuckers are fast. Fuck yeah. And we're breeding them until we get two a uh, two-header. That happens often. I feel like that should happen soon. Yeah. Well, I got rid of one of them, so. Oh. I put that snapping turtle in the trash can. Hell yeah. Outside. Fuck yeah, you did. I put trash on top of it, too, to make sure it didn't get out. Good. It's a proper disposal of a snapping turtle. Yeah, I looked yeah. up proper burial of snapping turtle. Yep. It said, throw it in garbage can. Mm-hmm. Cover it with trash. And then garlic and a wooden stake through the heart. What? That's a buffalo. <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking of a buffalo. A buffalo. Okay. Buffalo. Yeah. yeah. Buffaloes hate garlic. That's how you keep buffalo out of your yard. You put garlic on the perimeter. <laughs> buffalo, man. They got wild wings. Why are they called BW3s? <laughs> no, I've always thought that. <laughs> Here's the third W. Oh, no. It's Buffalo Wild Wings. Two Ws. It used to be Wild Wing Wazoos, though. Yeah. It wasn't called that. Yeah, it was. Mm-mm. Ing. Buffalo Wild Wing Wazoos. But Wazoos is a gross caricature of an Asian coal miner or something. You can't say that anymore. You just can't. <laughs> it's a different era. <laughs> you can't say certain things anymore. Yeah, you found that out the hard way on NPR, yeah. apparently. Got off easy, honestly. I don't believe that that happened. Shut so up, I don't dude. know where you said this shit, but... They canceled me on NPR, and Terry Gross is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not her fault, but society let her down. <laughs> I let her down, too. Saying that word. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. I put Smoking Out the Window by Silk Sonic. Incorrect. This is Mo Jams by Concrete Boys. Oh, the, the Christmas one. Yeah. yeah, that's a great song. It is a great song. It's a great song. It's an awesome sample, too. Couldn't place it. That's all right. It's only on YouTube. Yeah, but I've watched that video at least five times. Thanks to Tony and his snapping turtle. Turtles, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, but. there will be more. It takes a long... They're pregnant longer than humans. Yeah, I got rid of one, so I feel like I really set the process back. Yeah, it did. Shout out to Caribou. That verse is insane. Yeah. I got chills. It's because I'm sick. You got a fever that you can't sweat out. (laughs) (laughs) You have not seen anything yet. What? If you've enjoyed this video thus far, just wait. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, good. (laughs) I like that for engagement purposes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. It's not engagement. I do, I do. No, no. I do. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh, I'd never marry a man. It's just how I it's just how I pictured it. <laughs> I want to break your ring finger so you could never get married. Jokes on you guys, that didn't actually hurt. That's right. called active. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> my fingers can bend all the way back. <laughs> I bet they can. Next one. It's 
That's that little cat vibing, isn't it? Yep. The Stream East cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the Stream East cat. Yeah. They should have the Stream East cat do the halftime show of the Super Bowl. They need a little nod to that. Someone's that, do that would be so funny. <laughs> they could have this artist, the person who sampled it, do the halftime show. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think so either. Right? See, you're trying to get glean information. I'm trying to gleek. <laughs> Is there a correlation between people who gleek and people who squirt? What's gleek mean? Because I always thought that meant it was like the people who liked glee. No, it's like you can oh, like shoot yeah. the spit you out shoot of your the mouth. spit through your teeth. You like spout it. It also means fans of the show glee. Gleekies? Yeah, they'd be like, I'm a gleek. You're a gleek. I don't know. You're a gleek. I don't know. A gleek 4-5. Tom Brady. <laughs> Silencer. Robert Kraft. Bark. Like a whack-a-mole. Or like a whack-a-sex offender. Boom. Billionaire fuckhead. Nice. Yeah. I think you're kind of gaining public favor back. When did I lose it? NPR. They didn't air it. They, they pulled it. Yeah, they pulled it. It was up for a second. Yeah, it was yeah. up for a minute. Second. A second. <laughs> yeah, it was up for a second. <laughs> What's the first word of the interview? That's how I started it. <laughs> I didn't even let Terry get into her intro. I just said... <laughs> <laughs> Strolled right on stage and let one sing. I sang it. It was a little musical, too. <laughs> tasteless stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely tasteless. Three, two, one. Rush, Troy Savon. I put You Ain't a Fart by Ice Spice. <laughs> <laughs> this is Got Me Started by Troy Savon. Oh, no, I picked the wrong Troy Savon song. Because that's the one he does the da- I did the dance a little bit. He goes like that. And then he like pulls his pants down a little bit to show his underwear and stuff. It's awesome. But he's wearing like underwear for like, it's, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I don't have to criticize. He's wearing like red underwear, but it's like, it's like kids underwear. I don't know. There's something a little weird about it. <laughs> but it's an awesome dance. I love it. He's wearing baggy pants and he pulls them down and he shows his ass. He's really showed his ass on that one. Okay. I do love that song. I believe you, man. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just saying that I love it, but I thought that the underwear choice was interesting. Because it looked like little kids underwear? I just shouldn't have said that. You're right. Yeah. That was a weird thing to say. I don't know. It's just not the underwear I wear. I was hoping that I could bond with Troy in that he wore boxer briefs. Mostly Calvin Klein, but occasionally a pair of thieves. Sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, this day, 20 years ago, Humble by Kendrick Lamar came out. (laughs) (laughs) Feel old yet? It did. No, it didn't. (laughs) Ding! (laughs) It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I like it. Like, this is like the stank face. This isn't like yuck. What's that song called, though? The original? Shooting Stars by Bag Raiders. Yeah, Bag Raiders. Because I remember everybody freaking out. They're like, no way he sampled Bag Raiders. (laughs) <laughs> Is that how people on the internet sound to you? Yeah. No way, dude. No way he sampled Bag Raiders. He's fucking rad. He was wearing little boys' underwear. <laughs> You're getting close to the Steve-O thing. Uh, I'm not going to do it, though. It hurts my throat. And I got, almost got canceled. Why'd you almost get canceled for that? Because I was saying, I thought if I did a voice, I could say some other shit. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. I didn't think you said anything too crazy in that one. Maybe the Spike Jones wife stuff. Whatever. I don't even know if Spike Jones has a wife. If he does, though, I'm sure she's hot because he's rich. <laughs> sure, I guess. That seems to be how it works. It's a fair assumption. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and it's not cancelable. Can't cancel me for saying that. If you're rich, you probably got a hot wife if you're heterosexual male. Sorry. She's probably younger than you, too. Sorry. It's just like I'm playing I'm playing by the numbers here. You're really swinging the pendulum both ways today. You're saying some stuff that's going to gain you some favor, and then you're going to get some stuff that toes the line. Right. Which I think is great for you guys. And you haven't seen nothing yet. So I'm going <laughs> to say some shit coming up that is crazy. <laughs> stuff you don't want me to say. Grant, let's hear the next one. I couldn't understand a fucking word they were saying. Old. <laughs> oh, even worse than that, foreign. Right. Yeah, not American. Or if they're American, they're an immigrant, probably, because they're speaking another language. I'm not saying there's anything inherently wrong with that, but I can't hear it. I can't understand it. And that leaves me confused and pissed off. See, this is, I feel like this is fully on the other lot. Like, this isn't towing If I can't understand it, it's going to piss me off. I was, like, with you for a second as, like, <laughs> yeah. a, like a bit or whatever, I saw but now yeah. you've jumped over the fence, and I'm on the other side going, hey, have fun in that yard. I'm uh, over here. I, hope I disagree with you. I hope they're not immigrants. I hope they stayed where they came from. I hope this is just good old-fashioned See, Dutch music what are we or do- something. What are we doing here? What I don't is know. It? What is this? I don't know. This isn't, I'm like... delving into the murky waters of comedy. Yeah, but comedy usually means there's like a laugh there's a joke here it comes this just seems like a bad opinion here it comes yeah nope don't like it don't need him <laughs> no that's not the, that's not a punchline this is just a guy with a bad opinion uh, 
Guns in the schools. <laughs> That's another separate bad opinion. The only thing that stops a bad immigrant with a gun is a good American guy with a gun. No. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Booyah. Absolutely. Nailed it, right? No. <laughs> Shut it down. No. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what they're tuning in for. Yeah. Like okay. This Rogan. Is, <laughs> this is Dignan. I'm on a one-way ticket to the comedy mothership in Austin, <laughs> Texas. I'm going to be headlining there doing immigrant stuff. Yeah. Doing immigrant shtick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do an immigrant shtick at the comedy mothership and maybe then I'll finally get canceled. Well, the only thing that stops a bad immigrant with a shtick is <laughs> a, good, a American good American boy with a shtick. <laughs> I'm just playing. Let them all in. <laughs> yeah. Even the bad ones. I don't know. <laughs> how, right. do I, how do I undo the bad that I've done? <laughs> how do I do it over? Three, two, one. Red Rum, 21 Savage. I put Braun. This is Red Rum by 21 Savage. Yes. Oh, did you get it right? I did. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. You guessed a great song, by the way. Braun by Benny the Butcher. I like that shit. It's so sick. I like that shit. The way he did that shit. I'm S- that such a cool song. cadence. Yeah. And, um... Braun. There's got to be a butcher out there somewhere named Benny that is really getting off. There's probably like 30,000 butchers named Benny. Yeah, and they're really getting off. Yeah, they love it. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm Benny the Butcher, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not the rapper, but I'm uh, Benny the... I am. I was Benny the Butcher long before yeah, Griselda even existed. Long before. Yeah, I'm Benny the Butcher. I was Benny the Butcher when Nixon was in office. <laughs> butcher coming. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you think there's someone out there who's half mechanical whose name's Conway? <laughs> Just like by chance. Hey, I'm Conway the Machine, man. <laughs> beep boop beep boop. I got a pacemaker. <laughs> I had a heart attack in the club when I was 26. The coke was good back then. You can you blame me? Panic at the disco. <laughs> I had a panic at the disco long before they were even born yet. Long before I write Sins Not Tragedies, I had a little tragedy of my own. Almost Took died. too much coke, almost died on the disco dance floor. Yeah. But they fixed me up, put a pacemaker in me. No. Now I'm half robot <laughs> and my name's Conway. <laughs> Conway the Machine. Long before Griselda. Oh, this place has been open since the 80s. I've sold guns on the west side since. <laughs> Just a store called West Side Gun. <laughs> west Side? Oh yeah, East Side Guns. They, their markups are crazy. If you want a good gun, come over to West Side Gun. Boom, 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 boom! You know? <laughs> Everybody involved is Italian for some reason. And we know what I think about Italians. <laughs> <laughs> as long as they were born here. <laughs> four to one? Yeah, is four, that right? Four one. No, is that right? Why are you sitting like Adam Friedland? I'm curled up. <laughs> hey, I'm a little Jewish guy from New York. It's my co-host, Nick Mullins. You can tell by his mustache. Taylor Swift's an Asian lady or something. I don't know. That's how he does his bits. <laughs> You know, this album was announced as like the soundtrack for a movie about 21 Savage. Yeah. And it just came out that it was a parody and there's no movie. No. Oh. It was a trailer for a movie that doesn't exist. Fake movie. And to me, I feel like the album would have done better if it was just released as a 21 Savage album. Like to me, I almost didn't listen to it because I was like, oh, it's just like for his movie. Like it's just going to be the soundtrack. It's not like his next album. And I, I listened to it and it was great. Was it Oscar bait? Is he going for an EGOT? There's no movie. <laughs> well, right. But was it a... Fugaz movie, so maybe he could get an Oscar nom. Why would he get an Oscar nom for a movie that never came out? Well, he could trick the Academy or whatever. They're not going to pretend to have watched a movie based on a trailer. They do it every year. <laughs> <laughs> Did it with La La Land. <laughs> Fucking pricks and hacks. Prick hacks. That's what the Academy is. And you're a smart movie guy. You deserve to, to judge the movies of the year. Yep. <laughs> I, I, I don't think that that's true. They're prick hacks. And you're anti-immigrant. <laughs> But I'm also a big movie buff. I love art. Even foreign films. Yeah, you want, like, congratulations for that or something? No, just like. maybe it would shock some people based on my other political views that I enjoy a good foreign film. But art transcends political borders and things like that. That's why I love Tucker Carlson's show. Really? I just think it's well put together. <laughs> yeah. I don't like what he says or who he is. How has he not got a Pucker sponsorship? What's that? Pucker? It's like the green apple liqueur. It's like an <laughs> old school liqueur called Pucker. They make all the fruit flavors. Watermelon Pucker. That's something like carnies will get fucked up on and fuck each other <laughs> and give each other the diseases they have. They'll fucking down a liter of watermelon pucker and they'll fuck each other in the gravitron or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pronounced gravy train, but it, it, whatever. <laughs> well, I've never heard of pucker. Pucker Carlson. He could. Oh, okay. Seems like you know. What I mean? was a, yeah. Seems like an obvious sponsorship. All right, great. Let's get the next one.
Huh. That's Paper Planes by M.I.A. <laughs> <laughs> right? Who samples that? Who's out here sampling Paper Planes by M.I.A.? Yeah, I think... Uh, I Did think... they ever find her, by the way? <laughs> I think that's the answer, buddy. Did she ever miss a headlining show and then the next day, like the Albuquerque News says, MIA is MIA at college show? Yeah, I'm sure. That had yeah. to have happened, of right? Of course, yeah. You realize, like, you just said the answer. MIA can also stand for something you lose in your ass. Missing in ass. <laughs> if you lose something up there, the doctors will say, MIA, missing in ass, missing in my ass. Yeah, yeah. Do you see that drawing that Derek Jeter did of the Chiefs head coach? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Yankee Doodle Dandy. <laughs> That's good, man. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. <laughs> You really busted your own chops with that. I don't know why. I, yeah. I wrote it down and didn't think much of it, but when I said it out loud, I was like, wow. Anyway. Ready to guess? You just write down what you said, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> write down what you said. I was thinking if Tyler Perry ever says he's Tyler, the creator of Big Mama's House or something, you know what I mean? I was trying to mash those ideas together. Right. I've been Tyler, the creator. Of yeah, I've been Tyler, the creator before there was ever an odd future. Yeah. Now I've got an odd future. I got to just call myself Tyler Perry instead of Tyler, the creator of Mama, Big Mama's House. Yeah. Penis Planes by MIA. I used to make paper penises in class and whip them at the teacher. Why? I, I was fooling around. Kids, man. I was doing kid stuff. Seems like harassment. <laughs> what I did my junior year was harassment. What'd you do? I tortured the gym coach. Isn't it a gym teacher? Or is he the coach of the gym? <laughs> he was coaching the gym kids. And I tortured him. <laughs> psychologically. Oh. I hacked his email and I sent him shit that he thought was from his dead son. And it got messy and he got all fucked up. He thought he was communicating with the spirit realm. Fucked him up, man. Fucked his life right up. Yeah. Now that's harassment. Yeah. He'll never be the same. Right. Sounds bad. It was super bad. Shouldn't have done it. Mm. I'm not going to say I didn't learn something along the way. It doesn't matter. The power you can wield over someone when they are in grief. And if you manipulate that grief, what it could do. Now in this instance, I didn't really get anything from it. But I realized if I had used it to my own good, maybe I could have had him buy his dead son some gifts and leave him at my door. <laughs> Did they ever do an episode of Catfish where somebody catfished as a dead person that is important to the other person? Anybody ever catfish as a catfish? <laughs> I'm not a person. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Look, I'm dating a catfish. We've been talking for six years. Glub, glub. Yeah, all the texts are just <laughs> blub, blub. <laughs> <laughs> Splish Splash. <laughs> he loves yeah. chicken livers. <laughs> it's his favorite food. Can't believe we haven't done this song. All right. Three, two, one. Paper Planes, M.I.A. Hey, yep. Paper Planes by M.I.A. Paper Planes by M.I.A. That's all right with me. All right. Enough yapping out of you. Let's hear the song. We got to go straight into it. Do you think any veterans can't listen to that song? <laughs> I have thought about that before with yeah. gun sounds and songs. Yeah. You think any former cashiers can't listen to that song? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they go, oh! Next song, Grant. That shit's gonna fuck. Uh, actually, my mind is elsewhere. You know what I mean? I'm trying not to get frustrated with the game, so I'm just putting my mind elsewhere. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Whatever works for you. I got a lot in my mind right now, man. Lots going on up there. <sighs> Does it pain you when I don't ask. It feels like you're waiting for me to ask all the time. Like you say something. I'm kind of having a conversation in my own head. <laughs> oh, okay. Like yeah. if you don't do it, I'm going to take care of it myself. That's good. You want to know where I'm at right now? <laughs> no. I was thinking like, <laughs> if you chop the head off a horse, you'd be like, headless horse, man. <laughs> Like a headless horseman. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Like Sleepy Hollow. Right. Do you feel like I've influenced you in any way? Because I feel like a lot of the time your thoughts are puns now. Like, that's a pun. Headless horse, man. <laughs> Let's give that horse head, man. Me and you. No, that's... Let's go finish that horse off. No. Me and you together. Uh-uh. <laughs> be a good thing for us to do as friends. No. It doesn't take that long. Horses don't have great stamina. What? Sexual the... stamina. They're very virile, but they don't last that long. I think it's mostly due because they're so strong and their cocks are so long <laughs> that they probably get so much friction and force that they can't help but blast in an instant. This is what I was worried about. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is exactly what I was worried about. Started with one thing and then all of a sudden it's about how fast horses come. It's surprising how fast it happens. I've been to the semen ranch. Don't want to know. I don't care. It's not ranch. It's just semen. You shouldn't put it on anything. It's creamy and delicious. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Young Jock by Tia Corinne. I put Danny Boy. 
This is Monaco by Bad Bunny. See, I I don't, why does that sound so familiar? I don't know, I don't listen to Bad Bunny. Because he's a foreign guy? That's not why, no, oh. I just don't really <laughs> listen to him. I realized that I kind of crossed my wires too. I said art transcends political boundaries, but then earlier I was criticizing the song for being foreign. It might be confusing to people where I actually stand and I don't want to clear it up. I don't think anybody <laughs> cares where you actually stand on anything. I think you stand in 10 different places in any given moment. <laughs> Can we fact check that this song doesn't also sample that? We fact checked. I know that like it's a, like an illusion to you guys because we like paused and we checked. <laughs> right. But this doesn't sample that. Right. And the only other song that I knew that does is Whack Jumper by Glock Boys TJ and Band Gang Lonnie. Which is an amazing song. It's kind of the song that introduced me to Detroit rap. Really? Kind of, yeah. It was like the one that really got me into it. A line cook at the old restaurant I worked at was listening to it while he was making clam chowder. And I said, damn it, Pierre. That's a good track. What is that song? <laughs> you know, I've been Pierre longer before the they were saying, yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? <laughs> Long before Pierre was even born. You're teetering on Peter Griffin. You're right. I don't like that. Yeah, neither did I. I, I kind of lost the Italian thing and now I'm a Boston guy. Which is fine. They're hardworking Americans too. Sorry about that. Um, Mario. No. What the <laughs> hell, dude? Shit. Yeah. I'd say just give it up. Give it up. Oh, oh, Do you give it up easy? What? You're a cock and stuff. Would you say you're an easy, sleazy, beautiful little slut? <laughs> I'd say less so these days than probably a couple of years ago. Because you got a bad back? No, just because like, I don't know. Because you're famous. <laughs> Coincidence? Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> just because like, as you get old, you, you know, I'm not like, oh my God, I need to. You lost your libidi. Nah, I don't know if it's that. I just like, it's like whatever. Like, you I, lost your bojo. I also just don't want to upset anyone. <laughs> 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 that's, that's sad to say, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I like to. I just don't want to upset anyone. So, yeah. like, if it doesn't happen, it's whatever. Because of a poor performance or something? It could be that. Or just, like, wanting it sometimes will upset people. Like, yeah. I don't want to ever be yeah. a pressure of any kind. Right. I want to be, like... I'm always applying that pressure, though. You know what I mean? 2024 <laughs> is about pressure for me. I'm coming. I'm bringing that pressure in 2024 on the whole industry. The whole comedy industry better watch out because I'm bringing that pressure this year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for the mothership. I'm going to stop you before you say anything. <laughs> it doesn't, I don't want to know. I don't care. What? I don't, it's just nothing. Let's move on to the final song. Well, I'm like a criminal bunny. I've been a bad bunny for way longer before that little Latino pop star popped off. Sure. That's I'm beating the shit out of my bunny wife. Stuff like that. No, <laughs> He's a bad bunny. See, I know, but it, yeah. He's Again. a super bad bunny. He didn't have to go all the way. <laughs> I'm a raging alcoholic. Long before Bad Bunny came onto the scene, I've been doing all sorts of terrible shit in the bunny community. You're almost from Boston, too, I feel like. Well, this bunny's from Boston. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> I know all of these, I just haven't written the right answer. That's not true. Ding. Ah, great. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you're close to the, I mean, I guess we'll find out in the editing if you've gotten close to the record. What's the record? You told me it was 18. Never said that. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. Uh, was Black Boy JB supposed to be like Justin Bieber or something? Was he supposed to be like a black rapping Justin Bieber? Was he like trying to steal Justin Bieber's personality and body? I don't and think he put was... it inside of himself, who was another guy. I don't. Is he supposed to be like a gangster Justin Bieber. I don't think the JB Drake? stood for Justin Bieber. You don't think Black Boy JB was supposed to be Justin Bieber, but different? <laughs> <laughs> no. Because I'd never piece that together till just right now. <laughs> I just, I don't know if I was onto something or not. I don't think you pieced anything together. I just pieced it together. No. Rock Boy JB, was that supposed to be Justin Bieber? Because if it was, I would have been like, oh, no. oh, duh. I should have seen that earlier. He yeah. doesn't sound anything like him. Or... Well, right, because he's not. But he's like, you know what I mean? Was it supposed to be Justin Bieber, but different? No. <laughs> really? I don't think so. Supposed to be like a child boy superstar, but a rapper. From Memphis? <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't think so. Okay. I think I'm I think I'm done. You think you're done? <laughs> I think the well ah, it's still full, but <laughs> yep. I'm good. Three, two, one. First night by Lyrical Lemonade. I put sadness as a gift by Adrian Lanker. <laughs> this is first night by Lyrical. 
Magical Lemonade. Damn. That song though, Just don't even say it. Is so good. It's the best song ever of all time. I, I think, think it's, it's the, the best it's song. the best Adrian Lanker song I've ever heard. I think so too. I have been listening to it nonstop. I don't even wanna. I don't wanna talk about it anymore. Write me and I bet you will. See, this is what I didn't want you to ruin it for me. I'm not ruining it. Now every time I hear it, I'm gonna picture your fucking stupid ass. Beautiful face that I trust and Thank love. you. See? I'm gonna picture that shit every time. And I like picturing dead people when I listen to that song. Corpses. This song, by the way, have you heard this yet? Yes. First Night. Yes. Juicy J. Got it. Denzel Curry. I know. Lil B's part on that song made me smile. And I knew it was coming because, like, the whole song's like, she gonna fuck me on the first night, you know, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And I was like, Lil B's on this song. It's definitely gonna be the flip of that. And it was just spoken word. There's so much respect in the air. <laughs> You can still fuck, but don't feel like you got to. You don't got to. It's just nice. I hadn't heard the song and I lied. I know. Yeah, I just yeah. Got fucked up for that. Ding. I think the Lyrical Lemonade album, it's not perfect or anything. There's some duds on there, but as for a curated album, I think it's pretty good. I just think it's amazing that Cole learned to play all the instruments for the album. <laughs> he learned to play every, every single instrument was hand played by Cole Bennett, which is amazing. That's like, you know, sometimes someone goes so deep into method acting, you're like, you didn't have to do that. It's that effort that makes it special, even if it's not as good as, let's say a professional musician, <laughs> you know? Shout out to Marvie A, who produced that album. Well, produced, engineered, whatever. Marvie A, go. 6'2". That's like your pussy ass height. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's generous. You're welcome. I'm 6'1 and a half, but 6'2 sounds nice. The not know that shit that high. I trust you and love you and respect you. <laughs> I love you and respect you. Trust is a gaslighting counter on the screen. Yeah, yeah, you it's probably not. shouldn't. It's yeah. not good for you. You know, one night stands all right. <laughs> Wow. Well, that's awesome, man. I would say that this video was <laughs> an experience. For who? For everybody and for me. Okay. All right. Well, that was another episode of Samples. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you got some cool samples you want to see show up in an episode of this, DM them to DJ Gran on Instagram. It's linked in the description. Other than that, we'd like to thank our sponsor. Scentbird. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Scentbird. If you want to start smelling good today, use our code IMINDTV to save 55% off your first month's subscription. Designer colognes. Usually expensive. Scentbird makes them cheap. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff I said at the beginning. And Dignan, how about you leave these people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? The sun, too, shines into cesspools and is not polluted. <laughs> All right, this has been Ivan TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> When's this coming out? <laughs> <laughs>